Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Rome 2 Total War, the Medieval Kingdom's Total War 1212 AD modification. And the last episode, the big battle with the Latins and Venetians versus the Nicaeans and the Cumans, was supposed to be my last episode, but it was suggested in the channel that I fight a fictional battle against the Holy Roman Empire. And I thought that'd be kind of fun, so I'm going to do that. The Nicene army that you see is pretty typical for what I've been using. Once again, they're going to be heavily outnumbered. I've got the Emperor's Guard as the general unit. One of each cavalry, the Cataphracts, the Cavalerioi, the Pro Noiaroi, and the Turkoman Horse Archers. I have one unit of my Elite Archers, three units of our Basic Spearmen, who are very expensive for Basic Spearmen, and a Varangian unit. The Holy Roman Empire is doing a lot better. They have, they're being led by Imperial Knights, they also have Imperial Squires, Light Cavalry, Teutonic Knights, and Teutonic Mounted Sergeants. Where the Holy Roman Empire is very weak is in archery. Their best archers are mercenaries, and I didn't want to have mercenaries, so I got two units of archer militia. They cost the same as hunters, and they seemed a bit more thematic. Then I have, as far as the infantry, I tried to get one of each specialized unit of HRE infantry. I have the Bergmans, the Imperial Soldiers, the Teutonic Sergeants, and the Zweihandas. Finally, we, they ha we have one Spearman unit. They're also weak in Spearmen, as you can see here. They have the Ghibellines, who are the Northern Italians who are allied with the uh, HRE. They're kind of expensive, so instead I went with the town militia. Even cheaper would be the Armed Peasants. And it's worth noting that the Armed Peasants are 150, right? The Nicaeans, the cheapest unit you could possibly buy as a Nicaean is your Peltists for 300, or twice as much. The cheapest infantry unit is either your mercenary infantry or your mercenary spearmen at 400. So that's why the Nicene army is so expensive and generally smaller than our enemies. Now, you could say that the reason for that is that they are more professional and stronger, and I don't know. I haven't actually, because this is a mod, I haven't really delved too deeply into the statistics of the units. But in the battle, it seems like that might be true. I don't know. I mean, the AI in this game is not supposed to be amazing, so maybe I've just won these battles because the AI is that bad. But it could also be a testament to the fact that my troops are elite and generally pound for pound are stronger than their adversaries. So I'm going to try to fight this battle in the summer, but I've decided to just go somewhere totally fictional and fun to have the battle. So let's see, what about, like, Germany? Tulifurdum, light forest, yeah? Or we can go down a little bit further. Uberzis, dense forest. I don't really like fighting in forests because you lose track of your troops and it's not as fun to watch. Coria, light forest. That looks almost as dense as the dense forest. What about... What if there are any historical places? What's this? Doesn't really tell you. Okay, let's just... Let's look at them. Stonehenge. Yeah, we could fight the Germans at Stonehenge. That'd be fun. Tour. That's kind of in like Russia. The pyramids. Yeah, that's something. Which ones of these are German? Migdal? No, that's North Africa. I wish they would tell you. These are all in the south. A kink. Well, that's interesting. That's kind of in Hungary, right? And it would be an interesting meeting place. Alright, we're going to fight in a kink. It'll be a very kinky battle versus the Holy Roman Empire. And we are the defenders in this instance. Let's get started. Placing your general in close proximity to his men has a morale-boosting influence upon them. Well, that's good. That's one of the benefits of having an infantry general. Woe to the Vanquished by Livy. Actually, I think that's Ve Victus. That's what it means in Latin. Or <laughs> that's not what it means, that's how you say it in Latin. All right. So we have this nice little clearing to work in. General! 
let's start off with our Raffia formation. Very interesting. Okay. These guys are hidden. Cavalry Oi. Let's keep them over here. Horse archers. Let's keep them way off to the flank. The cataphracts. We'll put them kind of close since they're slow moving. And our shock cavalry will put over there. All right. So we have our missile troops in the front. Only one unit of them. I'll move them back when necessary. The Varangians are on the flank. Let's move them back a little bit so they can react to developments. And the Emperor's Guard. No, you're not Spartans. How do I want to do this? Hmm. Isn't there a way? I thought there was a way that you can reduce their ranks. I guess I don't know how to do that, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. I wanted to make them maybe a little bit wider at the cost of being a little less deep, but we're okay. So the Emperor's Guard can enter the battle if necessary. Otherwise, they're just going to hang out. Britons? No, I, I don't think so. All right, let's go. Let's go take a look at our Holy Romans who, as you know, are neither holy, nor Roman, nor are they really an empire. They're actually a federated group of German states. German principalities. So these are our Teutonic sergeants. They've got the kettle helms and their usual Christian livery. These are the Zweihandas, which are basically, there's the Holy Roman Empire, the eagle. But you've got multiple uniform types, and of course they're giant two-handed swords. Here are our town militia, basic under-armored spearmen, although they're doing pretty well. At least they have nice helmets. Well, this guy doesn't, but most of them do. And some layer of armor underneath this cotton... I'm not sure what this thing is. Like, it looks like a bra, kind of, but yeah. Here's the archer militia. They are organized with a club, it looks like as well. Kind of a spiked club. A mace, I suppose. These guys have daggers. They're armed very similarly to the Spear Militia. I've yet to see any cavalry. They must be hidden in the flanks. There's somebody here. Oh, there was. They are now hidden again. Alright. Well, that's what we have right now as far as the HRE. I bet you the AI is not going to be smart enough to maintain the hidingness of the... Yep, they're going to walk right out into the field. So here we have our Imperial Knights, the general unit. They're kind of sashaying. I don't know, that movement's kind of weird. They're so fabulous, those Imperial Knights. And uh, the black ones are cool. Obviously, these are the general unit, probably the strongest unit. Unless you consider the Teutonic Knights the strongest unit. I think they both cost an equal amount. So let's see. The Teutonics have slightly less weapon damage than the Imperial Knights. But they also have a higher bonus against large. They have less of a charge bonus. And less health. But more morale. Okay, and apparently there's a very busy woodpecker in one of these trees making a lot of noise. And these are our light cav. So they're armed very similarly to the peasant spearmen, or the militia spearmen, and the archers. With this kind of weird puffy cotton thing, and generally a metal helmet. And a light spear. Their horses are unarmored. Of course the Teutonic Knights' horses aren't really armored either. Some of them have this cloth armor. But compared to the Imperial Knights, where all the horses have complete barding. Alright. Those are our adversaries. Here are our Imperial Squires and our Teutonic Mounted Sergeants. So they're they're both still considered heavy cavalry, but they're less heavy. These guys have a mixture of weapons, swords. There's a mace, an axe. You have my sword and my mace and my axe and my spear. 
No, those are the Teutons. They're all spear mounted. I did not know they had a giant T. That's the first I've seen of that. I thought they had that like cross symbol. Don't know how historically accurate this is. I'm assuming it is. I mean, they wouldn't just make something silly like that for no reason. Yeah, there's the cross on their helmets. Okay. So we've seen them. We've seen the HRE. Let's battle. Let's dance. I wonder if they'll get tired out at all from having to walk all the way to us. What are you guys doing? They're kind of swaying the Varangians. Yeah, they're dancing. It's nice. That's their pre-battle dance. Alright, here we go. So, the, the light cavalry are charging our shock cavalry. Probably not the best idea. Our hidden units have been discovered. Thank you. You are going to go behind them. At speed, please. Thank you. Uh-oh, who's this? The Teutonic Knights. Alright, but they're letting my cavalry alone for the moment. Sons of Macadon? No, I'm pretty sure they're not. Alright, this is a perfect opportunity for us to destroy the Teutonic Knights when they're nowhere near their power base. Okay, our archers are fleeing. Get back here. Town Militia is chasing him. Skutatoy are getting engaged. What do we have here? Mounted sergeants. Did they charge our Varangians? Let's let them do that. And let's hit them from behind. Okay. This flank seems relatively secure. They're sending their town militia spearmen to back up their Teutonic Knights. Who are losing current combat. Decisively. Okay, these guys are about to flee. Let's hit the spearmen with our horse archers. Alright, everyone, get out. We could probably sustain the spearmen for a little bit, but I don't want to deal with it. Get out. Alright, all of our melee units are engaged. And the mounted sergeants are winning against our Varangians and our cavalry. Now they're fleeing. Still in good shape. Let's have an archer battle. I think we could take that. We're losing here. So let's get the Emperor over there to help. Town militia is ready to flee. Then we can go after the light cavalry. The Teutonic Knights are chasing after my horse archers. Isn't wise. Okay. Okay. We've already got their archers fleeing. Emperor. Will you join up and help these guys out, please? Okay, we're being double teamed here. Let's go to slow-mo for a second. The mounted sergeants are back versus our Varangians. Did we lose all of our... Where are you guys? Oh, cavalry. Okay. Oh, what? oh, I see what you're doing. You're chasing down the squires. Let's leave the squires alone and go after the mounted sergeants, please. You two get the light cav. And then we'll hit them from behind as long as we last long enough to make that a valuable strategy. Our Skutatoi are holding firm here. In fact, they're actually scaring off some of these Bergmans. We have Teutonic Sergeants and Bergmans. And they're being attacked from multiple sides. We can't really keep up with the Light Cav. So let's go after the Imperial Soldiers, which are fairly elite infantry. Have they engaged our Turkomans? Yes, we're in melee. Come on, guys. You're better than that. Skirmish mode. 
And the Turkomans are fleeing. All right, we've, we've taken the right... Well, the enemy's right flank, our left flank. What should we do now? I think actually we should send our cavalry here after the Imperial Knights, and we'll have this infantry unit aid with the Imperial soldiers. Let's see the charge. Excellent. Teutonic sergeants are armed with pretty awesome looking axes. Where are those Vihandas? Imperial Knights, sergeants, Imperial soldiers. We must have taken them down somewhere. The Varangians have been heavily messed up. Let's uh, go after the Teutonic sergeants. General? Very good. Got a kind of a thick scrum going on here. There's their general. Hopefully he won't fall. The Teutonic sergeants are being hit from behind by the Skutatoi. The light cavalry temporarily retreating. The sergeants we might just be able to get to flee. And the general unit is in trouble. Our cavalry is taking him on. Wow, that guy looks pretty awesome. With the, the gold beak. Where are you? There he is. Yeah, that's awesome right there. This guy looks pretty tough. Our Varangians should have a bonus against cavalry. With those big axes. You are neither Thracian nor Cavalry. Spear Horsemen! Spear horsemen. Alright, these guys, the Imperial Soldiers, are tired out. They have fought well, but they're just being hit from all sides. Archers, who are these guys? Shoot them. Oof. Yeah, your back is probably not the best part of yourself to face our... Oh, and they don't have shields because they have those two-handed axes. Yeah, not a good day. Not a good day to be a Holy Roman. A good day to be a real Roman. Will you? Alright. Oh, they gained a level. Excellent. Now, who are you guys? Imperial Knights. Wow, there's still some standing Imperial Knights. Do I have any... Cataphracts, they won't be able to catch up. No, these guys are going to get away. Our only hope is that because they are heavily armed, that there's no, they're too close to the border. They're going to get away. Damn. What about these guys, though? It's not a good day to be you guys. I have to admit, though, these axes look just amazing. Like this this unit looks really cool. Okay, that was relatively easy. Who are you guys? Bodies everywhere. There's our Emperor's Guard and our Spearmen. They're eager, though they've sustained casualties. Hello, gentlemen. No, you're tired. Emperor's Guard must be very tired because they're wearing a lot of armor. That dude's happy. Yeah, I survived. Yeah, I survived too. We all survived. That's amazing. There's the Varangians. Get looting! Yeah. Look at this guy. I mean, these guys are so tough, they don't even wear helmets. This guy's pretty awesome, though, with his full face covering. They're all covered with a little bit of blood. Nobody got out of the battle today without having to fight. And then finally, our cataphracts. 
just taking a rest underneath the shade. Because it is summertime, and they're wearing quite a lot of armor. Close victory. Alright, let's see what happened. We lost about 500 men. They lost 1,000. Our Cavalerioi and Pro Noiaroi were pretty much devastated. Our horse archers fled like cowards. The Emperor's Guard, who came into the battle a little bit late, did 121 kills and hardly lost a man. The Cataphracts, as always, were just terrible beasts of destruction and doom, and they took out 88, suffered minor casualties. The Spearmen, as always, bore the brunt. They all gained, well, this, these two gained experience. This one took out 80, 114. This one only took out 30. They must have been fighting against the more elite enemies. The Varangians were just tore up. And that's because they kept getting hit with cavalry in addition to their infantry battle. But they served their purpose. They had high morale, and they were able to hold on. The archers didn't get hurt at all, and as always, the Byzantine archers are amazingly powerful. They single-handedly the most kills of anyone, 246. Now granted, they were mostly shooting at unarmored peasant archers, but still. So... All right, and as far as the Holy Romans, the Imperial Knights were mostly devastated and didn't do much, to be perfectly honest. None of their cavalry actually was all that impressive. I mean, combined, they took out about 250 men, but maybe 300. But as each individual unit, no one really stood out. The Imperial soldiers, the Teutonic sergeants did the best in terms of... Oh, this, there's the Zweihandras. Okay, so they... Killed 72 guys. So they were very powerful on the attack, but they just couldn't sustain, and they were basically annihilated. Town militia, of course, as well. The two archer militias were put down by my archers. Their knights did maintain a kind of mobility advantage over us that we couldn't get around. Their light cavalry, especially, I think that was their imperial squires, perhaps, or just their light cavalry, they were able to kind of run circles around us. Oh, they're axe-armed. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, they were all pretty much devastated. The Archer Militia got away with most of their numbers intact, or at least more than the average. Some units were completely destroyed. All right, well, that is the Holy Roman Empire. And I assume the majority of people who are going to be playing this mod are going to be playing the Western factions like France and England and the Holy Roman Empire, so you can kind of get an idea for them. They look beautiful, of course, like all the other units in this mod. But, once again, our Nicaeans won the day. So, once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.